walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. For this is the message you heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. When I said, my foot is slipping, your unfailing love, Lord, supported me. Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by so doing some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. He answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you so you must love one another. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. If you love me, keep my commands. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. You, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call to you. Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord who has compassion on you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. Those whom I love I rebuke and discipline, so be earnest and repent. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline and do not resent his rebuke because the Lord disciplines those he loves as a father the son he delights in. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not cut, and whatever other command there may be, are summed up in this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. The Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of his unfailing love. 
Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Strive for full restoration. Encourage one another. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. My goal is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love, so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding, in order that they may know the mystery of God, namely, Christ. For great is your love, reaching to the heavens, your faithfulness reaches to the skies. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I have made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them and that I myself may be in them. We ought always to thank God for you, brothers and sisters, and rightly so, because your faith is growing more and more and the love all of you have for one another is increasing. And he has given us this command. Anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? For Christ's love compels us, because we are convinced that one died for all, and therefore all died. And he died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them, and was raised again. Do not withhold your mercy from me, Lord. May your love and faithfulness always protect me. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not give false testimony, honor your father and mother, and love your neighbor as yourself. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my father's commands and remain in his love. But you, dear friends, by building yourselves up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your unfailing love. Rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love, and he relents from sending calamity. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any value. The only thing that counts is faith expressing itself through love. Not to us, Lord, not to us, 
but to your name be the glory, because of your love and faithfulness. It was not by their sword that they won the land, nor did their arm bring them victory. It was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your face, for you loved them.